on you. All right. The first question, the first guest came out. <laughs> a little name tag. <laughs> it, gets, <laughs> it gets better and better. You're welcome. Um, all right. So these are seven, six, seven, or however many questions we asked that every wrestling fan needs to have on deck, ready to answer. So we'll start with A.O. Baker, then Chad, you can hop in right in after. So the question, first question is, how did you get into this crazy grown man in tight circus that is known as professional wrestling? How did you come fan? Kindergarten, best friend's name was Ace, went to his house. He had Wrestle Buddies and VHS tapes. Wow, oh, hell yeah. History. Hell yeah. Perfect. Right, Chad. <laughs> Chad on you. <laughs> Me, I got into wrestling the year 2000, January to be precise, Royal Rumble, Cactus Jack, Triple H. That was like my first introduction to wrestling. Uh, my homie was, uh, at the time, he literally was like, yo, you got to watch this feud. We're eight years old. And he's like, was like, yo, we got to, like, wrestle each other. And I'm just like, huh? <laughs> and then he just proceeded to, like, put me in the walls of Jericho. Damn. And I was like, yo, I'm going to, like, fuck you up right now. Like, I really think like, you're taking this, like, too far. I'm like, whoa. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then that's when I started to watch more of what was going on. I was like, oh, these are the moves you're trying to perform on us when we're, like, play fighting yeah. and shit. Oh, that's where you got this shit from. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, all right, now I understand. Now, So I understand. wait, wait, Chad, real quick. Yeah. Was it the Walls of Jericho or was it a Lion Tamer? Um, It was 2000, so let's go with the Walls of Jericho, okay. baby. All right, there Listen, is a difference. A lion Tamer, it was, it was, we're it was, not friends anymore. There's a modified Boston Crab. <laughs> yeah. Boston much. Crab is, is yeah, definitely was, like a friend the wolf. wolf. Lion Tamer, we're not friends anymore. I'm fucking you up. <laughs> yeah, Lion Tamer is like, you're way too, like, you are too precise with this to like be putting your knee. Yeah, yeah. you're trying to like you're it. trying to actively injure me. Like it's done. We're done. Yeah. <laughs> Walls of Jericho is like okay. You're just doing a Boston Crab. I'm I'm picking up. His leg <laughs> down. I get it. But like Lion Tamer, it's like nah. You're too intricate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dory, you are not old. You're like 27. But anywho, will next question. Next question is, who is your favorite re- wrestler currently? And then who is your favorite wrestler all time? And tell me why it's IRS. Aaron. <laughs> Definitely not Erwin R. Scheister. <laughs> Definitely not Erwin R. Scheister. Current favorite wrestler is Zack Sabre Jr. Had the pleasure of meeting oh, that I'm guy sorry. the other day. He is a nice uh, guy. I've met him before. He's a nice guy he's cool. in person. He's a nice guy in por- He's a nice guy in person, but his wrestling is just boring. But anyway, continue. And you are wrong, sir. You are wrong. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be a fun yeah. you, are, you are actively wrong. And, Will, I know starting off with Zack Sabre Jr., it can't get any better, but the favorite all-time wrestler is your all-time favorite wrestler, the man whose uh, birthday it is today, Brett the Hitman Hart, definitely a Brett guy. So, yeah, your two favorite guys are my two favorite guys. We have that in common, Will. <laughs> so, I don't think I could be more disappointed with that answer, to be honest. I don't think I've ever been more disappointed with get an answer this guy the off first the show game. immediately. <laughs> like, I, okay, I, 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 I do hate Bret Hart because he's just fucking annoying and he takes the sport too literally. But if you're going to tell me he's one of the greatest of all time, I can't say you're wrong. Like, I give a guy, I give a guy, I give a guy respect as one of the greatest of all time. He's just a piece of shit. And I'm glad Goldberg kicked him in the head. <laughs> God, damn. Oh my God. God damn. Let's move on to chat. Chat. <laughs> My favorite, well, my current favorite right now would have to be the aerial assassin, Will okay. Ospreay. All right. Uh, that guy could have a match with a broomstick or Swerve Strickland, and it'll be an amazing match. It don't matter. The spectrums could go from either or. Um, great, great wrestler. I enjoy watching him wrestle right now, anytime, any place. And my overall favorite wrestler of all time, are we talking wrestler or, or sports entertainer? Ooh. Good call. It's your, it's, it's your question. You get to answer it however you want. Your preference. Just don't, just don't say Bret Hart. That's the only rule. Dwayne the Rock. Hell yeah, there you go. Now we're talking. Will is Will's a good Will's a big Rock fan. He saw the Rock for the first time ever at WrestleMania. Yeah, I did lose it. I did. I did lose it. I am a big Rock fan. I I do prefer Stone Cold over the Rock, but I mean, hey, if you got if you got to pick a number two, I'm glad it's the Rock. Fair Um, enough. Fair enough. Next question, Will. So this question was this question was going to be modified. We didn't we didn't add it. We modified it. So you have a friend coming over to your house, never seen wrestling before. That is you the need, extra question, okay. Yeah, you need to convince, you need to show them one match to get them sold on a professional wrestling. What match do you show them, and why? Aaron, on you. Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Do It Love Over the Edge 98. Wow. Uh, McMahon was the guest ref. The Stooges were the ring announcer and guest uh, timekeeper. <laughs> I know that match, actually. Undertaker was the, uh, was the enforcer. 
Um, they fought on cars. They fought all. It was, it's the most it's a hot crowd. I want to say that was Milwaukee. Um, the crowd was fired. The action was fired. It was, it's a perfect match. It's a five star match on anybody's scale that has taste. <laughs> Chad. Mm. Um, for comedic purposes, I'm going to go with the six woman tag from Dynamite. <laughs> with, uh, it was it was in Milwaukee. With, you were uh, correct, by the way. Mariah May, Tony Storm, and uh, I guess Marina Sharikawa was it versus Harley Cameron, Soraya, and uh, Anna oh, Jay. Oh, you mean Mina Mina Sharikawa? Mina Sharikawa. Yeah, I think that would probably be a great one for satirical purposes. I'd show someone like, hey, this is some of the best women's wrestling <laughs> that you might the ever six watch. Six hot chicks going at it. What's not to like? The six <laughs> hot women just fighting. On free television on Wednesday. You can't night. say wrestling's gay after watching wanted, this shit. <laughs> yeah, not at all. Not at all. But then, if I wanted to have an emotional factor to it, I would show them Brock Lesnar versus Eddie Guerrero, No Way Out 2000. Great match. Oh, okay, that's a good Great match. match. That's a good one too. That's a good one too. When Eddie Guerrero won the WWE title, I think I actually, I legitimately shed a tear because I was like, "Holy shit, Eddie Guerrero just won the WWE." Cal title. Like, Palace. Area. Yeah, that was insane. Like. Goldberg interference and all, one frog splash, and it was over. I was like, this is fucking cinema. cinema. Yeah. Real, Seidberg, real yeah. quick, because we don't say uh, segue, we say Seidbergs. Uh, and we're, we're not probably not going to talk about when we talk about Forbidden Door. Um, Mina Shirakawa, Tony, Mariah May, Thropple? Official? Official like Thropple? It. Yeah. Feels okay. Like okay. I just wanted to make sure. Just wanted, just wanted to make sure. Official Thropple after, after, after Sunday. Official Thropple. I saw the video afterwards. Yeah, I know scissors are timeless. <laughs> that, that is that is very very true. That's very fun. true. At the end of Pride too it was great. It was great. All right. Well, next question. <laughs> uh, this question is very simple. What's your finisher, bitch? Mm, this is, you know, I, I made up this finisher when I was a kid fighting pillows and shit. Right? It would have been Those are like the best a, finishers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it would have been the um the fire. What the fuck do you call that shit? The fire fireman. They put you on like Fire's basically carry. about doing fireman's, fireman's carry. carry into a leg drop right so into like a dvd and then you, you bring them down into a leg drop i don't know what i would have called it last name's baker would have been baker something baker's dozen baker's whatever the fuck baker's, baker's whatever doesn't, the fuck is a baker's great doesn't name work. Baker's, baker's, doesn't yeah, work. baker's mark baker's mark that works um yeah i'd go with that maybe a little submission action maybe do like something you know sharpshooter i know you like that you could do uh, you know, something simple like that <laughs> uh. It's what's it's the, the uh, it's the, it's, it's the it's what what did Sting call it? Not it's the sharpshooter. Scorpion, Scorpion death. Scorpion yeah. death block. There you go. Yeah, yeah, there, there you go. go. Yeah, it's the same. Chad, Chad, what's what's your finisher? I'm going with a classic maneuver that doesn't get utilized much. Mine in all fans. What a super kick? And even in my. <laughs> oh no! Clearly, would have been a cut. Yeah. Uh, no, it, it would actually be a simple law lock. Um, and it would just be the stretch muffler. Nice, love the stretch muffler. Nice, nice. Good old stretch muffler. You don't, you don't see anyone use a stretch muffler. The last time I feel like I saw anyone seriously use it was when Brock Lesnar was killing everyone in two thousand three, and I was like, yeah. this move look. Doesn't I awesome. think I think Eddie uses that so right, simple. Kingston? Maybe. I mean, Eddie Kingston just borrows moves. Eddie's got to worry about fans. walking. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Also true. <laughs> Right Eddie's now. not using any finishing moves right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's right. Oh my God. I, Eddie, Eddie Kingston was my first wrestling interview, and that was amazing. Great time. interview. He's a great interview. <laughs> it's an amazing time. I believe it. Rock I'd lock. share a beer with I Eddie. It. Yeah, it's really hard to get Eddie Kingston out of character. I'll tell you that. Because, <laughs> dude, he is, he is, he is a it's character. still real. He lives the it's gimmick. It's still real to me, dude. It's still real. It's still still real to him. So I think we're, in, we're on the final one, right? Uh, second to last one. Second to last one okay. is it's always the same answer. How did you oh, find? Yeah. How did you discover the Kings of the Rings podcast? We know this uh, answer. Socials. Yeah, it's got to be socials. socials. I mean, Rick and I have known each what other. We just didn't. The funniest shit is that like he comes on. <laughs> he comes on our show an hour before the show starts. I'm like, yo, you. <laughs> you know what I mean? An email. I'm like, yo, I think I know you. He's like, yeah, it fucking took you so long, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Classic Ricky. Classic Ricky is waiting to you to figure it out. <laughs> All right, in my defense. Mean, mind you, this had been booked for like two months a month. <laughs> we had been oh, following dude. each other for years. Pretty much. 
I'm I like, yo, like, I fucking know this guy somehow. <laughs> follow his stuff. I like his stuff. Since I retweet the stuff, and yeah, tremendous. never figured it out. Never. He was on my. He was on my personal like Twitter. Yeah. Just never figured it out. An hour before I get an email, you know, they give me they give me the rundown, and then Ao emails me separately from the thread. And he's like, yo, I think we went to school together. And I go, fucking took you long enough. <laughs> yeah. Tremendous. Remembering that you know somebody when you're confirming if they're still going to be on the show is amazing time. <laughs> yeah. I, was, I had to pull out the yearbook and stuff because back in AO's <laughs> day, they, they didn't have color yearbooks. They had black and white. Yeah, 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 yeah no doubt. So, uh, Chad, <laughs> next question. Question's on you. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you got the same answer. Social media. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, answer's yeah. always Ricky. I don't know why we, I don't know why we keep his question in. Like, one day they're going to say me, but that day's not. It's not going to happen. <laughs> it's not today. <laughs> it's not there. Well, no, Jonathan no, found No, I was going to say Jonathan, yeah. Jonathan found this out through one. you. Jonathan, that yeah, was your Jonathan. friend. Yeah. That was your friend, yeah. from school. Yeah. How's he doing, by the way? I don't know. I haven't talked to him. Oh. Last, night, last time I talked to him, Bray Wyatt died. <laughs> so. Oh, well, well maybe you should check up on him. <laughs> I was about to say, see if everything's all right. He's probably, he's probably planning his wedding. That's my guess. I was, more, I, was more, I was more friends with his fiance than I was with him. That's how I knew him. I knew him through his fiance. He was a good host. He was a good uh, yeah, good guest, kid. though. Good kid. They're a really cute couple, too. So I'm excited. I'm happy yeah. they're getting married. All right. Yeah, time, for the, to them. <laughs> time for the final question, the greatest question of all time. The final and most important question of the first guest game is, are you... Gentlemen, individually, team Slack, or are you, gentlemen, individually, team, fuck you, Slack? Answer instinctively, please. This is Slack the app? No. <laughs> that, that's an obvious fuck you to Slack. No. <laughs> so, so, so Slack, Ricky, how would you describe Slack? <sighs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's, our failed K, he's our failed KOTR intern we replaced with a stuffed animal. Yes, there you go. There's <laughs> that. Ah, oh, uh, if you saw, if you saw, there you go. There's one. There you go. If you saw our clip from last week's episode, that is Slack. When he did the John Moxley hot take, that's Slack. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'm with whatever AO says, uh, man. Team Squad Ride. <laughs> two more for the good guys. Fuck you, Slack. The everyone, everyone just loves telling Slack the to fuck off. Yeah.